Hello friends. Today uh, we will discuss about wireless charging. So as uh, this is the one of the video in the series of electric vehicle. So today we will talk about wireless charging. Let's start. So what is wireless charging? Introduction to wireless charging. So generally what happens when you have an electric vehicle and uh, as we all know, we have a battery pack inside in our electric vehicle. And whenever this battery pack got depleted, like uh, its energy got depleted, then we need to charge it, right? And for charging, what usually what we do, we have a charging socket and uh, we put uh, this charger in the charging socket, whether it's our home or uh, in our office or any charging station, there is a wire and there is a connector. We connect the vehicle uh, and this uh, charging socket. Then our vehicle used to get a start charging. Okay. But what is happening for electric vehicles, traveling range and charging process are the two major issues that is affecting its adoption and over conventional vehicles. With the introduction of wireless charging technology, no, wear, no more waiting at charging station for hours. What is happening? So whenever there is a, you know, uh, we have to charge uh, our electric vehicle, we have to wait for hours, right? So uh, for usually for uh, two wheelers, it takes three to four hours. For cars, it uh, might take seven, eight hours to charge your vehicle full. So that waiting charge is too much huge for this uh, wired based charging. Apart from that, you know, you have to take the uh, wire connect to your car, connect to your vehicle and one end you have to connect to the socket. Lot of problems are there. And in uh, countries like, you know, in uh, some American countries, in some European countries, the weather is all like uh, most of the time, the weather is too cold. And in that too cold uh, weather, they have to come out of the car, they have to put the, you know, wire in one end of the wire in the vehicle, one end of, end of the wire in the, uh, one end of the wire inside this uh, charging station. It's a, a cumbersome kind of task, right? So in that way, if we see in that way, wireless charging is a very good option. So you like get your vehicle charged by just parking it on a parking spot or you know, uh, by parking at your garage where this wireless charging system have been implemented, right? You just have to align your vehicle on that uh, thing and uh, your vehicle starts uh, getting charged. As of now, we are, you know, familiar with wireless transmission of data, audio, video, those all things. Then why not power uh, transfer could be uh, happen via the air, right? So that is wireless charging. So this is the man, Nikola Tosla, who discovered this uh, wireless charging methodology. Okay, so thanks to this scientist for his limitless uh, amazing invention, invention, which is wireless power transfer. Okay, he started his, his experiment uh, on uh, wireless uh, power transmission in 1891 and developed Tesla coil, okay. And in 1901, with the primary goal to develop a new wireless power transmission system that is called Tesla started developing this Wander Cyclip Tower. Okay, he developed a Wander Cyclip Tower for large and high voltage wireless energy transmission station. Okay, but what happened sadly uh, later on due to uh, this uh, some depths and all for on his company the tower was uh, demolished okay in uh, july uh, 1917 okay so this happened but he is the man who developed this uh, wireless charging system wireless power trans not charging wireless power transmission system okay so what is happening in a uh, this uh, wireless charger instead of your you know wire and lead system you are having a uh, wireless system to charge your vehicle. So how this is working and all we will be discussing.
so inductive charging or wireless charging so wireless charging or inductive charging utilizes an electromagnetic field to transmit energy between two objects in this case in our case like in case of electric vehicle what will be happening between the charger and the car okay so it also mean there is no need to fiddle with charging cable drain or beating coal or the recharging process it starts by simply parking or aligning the vehicle to the wireless charging pad in the ground so how this is happening there is a pad in the ground so there are two coil one is primary coil and one is secondary coil so one coil that is uh, integrated in your vehicle okay in the bottom of the vehicle and one of the coil is integrated with the pad charging pad okay so this charging pad is connected with the grid this charging pad will be connected with the grid and your vehicle in bottom of your vehicle there will be a another charging uh, coil will be there sorry uh, some uh, wire coil will be there so whenever that coil will comes on to that okay this charging pad it communicate in between immutually they will be con communicating and charging will start okay so that's why it, since this is happening because of inductive uh, uh, nature that's why we call it inductive charging or wireless charging okay so there are advantages of wireless charging lack of wire in this wire will not be there there okay damage to wire they will not because wire is not there so there will not be any chances to damage on all because you know if there is a wire then we have to do to and fro more more moreover the huge more chances of the damage and all will be there for the wires but here since there is no wire so no chances of damage and all right convenience it is very convenient because you don't have to put the wire one in the to your vehicle one in to the charging station irrespective of weather and all you just have to park your vehicle on to the charging pad and very conveniently you will be starting your uh, vehicle charging time saving you don't have to do stuffs and all you simply have to pa uh, park your vehicle on this charging pad and uh, the charging will start so it's a time saving uh, charging methodology last one is battery size we can reduce the battery size why so in wireless charging basically there are two types of uh, types of wireless charging okay one is uh, this uh, stationary wireless charging and one is dynamic wireless charging so what is happening so since uh, uh, you can park your vehicle and your battery start charging okay so that's why you don't need too much big battery pack inside okay even though if it is comparatively a smaller battery pack so since you have freedom of charging so a smaller battery also will be fulfilling your requirement okay so as i told you so there are two types of uh, wireless charging one is static wireless charging and second is dynamic wireless charging so by name itself a static wireless charging is okay what is happening your vehicle will be in rest while charging your vehicle will be in rest okay whether it is parking a spot or your or your, in your garage wherever this uh, technology have been incorporated wireless charging system you can be able to charge your ve uh, vehicle okay this uh, transmitter and all will be fitted underneath the ground and receiver so i told you there is a two uh, this coil primary coil and secondary coil so or we can say receiver coil and uh, this transmitter coil so transmitter coil which is transmitting the electric electricity that will, be, that will be underneath with the ground and this uh, receiver coil will be underneath the vehicle okay so to charge the vehicle just align the transmitter and receiver and leave it for the charging okay the charging time depends on power supply okay and distance between the transmitter and receiving and their pad size okay if it is small coil obviously pad would be a small so less uh, uh, transmission will be there if it is a big coil then big uh, pad is required and uh, more uh, transmission will be there okay so this static wireless charging is best to build in areas where ev is being parked for a certain time interval for example uh, you in your office mostly uh, for example 9 to 5 so 9 to 5 you will be working in your office or your vehicle will be parked in the, the parking lot okay so it will be a stationary all those fine Uh, all those time so in those all scenario this static wireless charging system is good for that second one is dynamic uh, wireless so see this is a static wireless charging you can see so 
this is the main uh, uh, thing for this uh, main charger and the, in uh, uh, this uh, ground this uh, pad is integrated okay so this pad is getting electricity via wire but to get, charge your vehicle you just have to park your vehicle onto that right and your vehicle will start getting charged second one was dynamic wireless charging in this what happened by names indicates ki the vehicle will be in motion okay so the power transfer over the air from a stationary transmitter to the receiver coil in a moving vehicle how it is happening so mostly in roadways in highways under the uh, this uh, you know road beneath the road there is a tunnel okay mostly they make a tunnel and in that tunnel this primary coil the stationary transmitter is uh, you know spreaded all across the roadways all across the highways okay and then on to that your vehicle will be running obviously vehicle will be running on road right so whenever this vehicle is running on to do it is receiving this uh, power although till the point this uh, transmitter coil is uh, you know spread uh, into the road okay so in that way your vehicle will be charging continuously while moving on to the road okay and this is called dynamic wireless charging okay so by using this dynamic wireless charging system electric vehicles traveling range would be improved because you know you, you are running on the road and simultaneously you are charging yourself right so your battery pack uh, this range uh, would be extended right improve one it reduces the need for large energy storage means uh, battery pack uh, will be uh, quietly small which further reduce the weight and all of the vehicle okay so you can see so this is a road okay so you can see here this road is there again this road is there so underneath of the road throughout this transmitter coil have been spreaded okay they have and the receiver coil which is inside the vehicle okay it whenever it will be running on that particular road it continuously getting charged so this is called dynamic wireless charging system so i hope uh, you uh, you know have a idea about uh, why, what uh, are the wireless charging system and there are two types of wireless charging one is uh, this uh, one uh, static wireless charging and second one is dynamic wireless charging but there are few challenges in this wireless electric vehicle charging technology one is to install electric and to, to install a static and dynamic wireless charging station on the road or or you know for a static as well we need to develop new infrastructure okay infrastructure development is required because current arrangement is not suitable for that because you have to dig the road you have to dig the parking lot you have to spread all the primary coils and all transmitter coil inside that and then uh, it will be uh, going to be used right so huge uh, transformation will be required in terms of the in terms of the infrastructure second one is whenever these things are there there is a charger and all obviously emi and emc uh, things are there so you have to maintain the emi and emc and frequencies as per the standard for the human health and safety concern okay so uh, that's all uh, from my side for today thank you